fucked up, dude. No, you were thought of being friends again. I, I, you kind of remember me in 2016 when we first did I seem kind of out of it. I mean, you you seemed like uh, well, yeah. You told me you didn't want to tell me that like you lost a ball. Do you remember the conversation we had? I was I was going for radiation, so I was kind of yeah. But you remember what happened? Like you were like like I thought it was because, you know, oh, you know, you went home and your mom caught you with a swastika on the back of your head or whatever, and then the gay porn on your computer, and I was like, oh man, I'm just joshing. No, no, but uh, no, you, you. I thought that was why we stopped hanging out, and then you it, told it, me. It can be honest with you. Yeah. It was. It was. <laughs> so you. T- so now I'll never know why I was an asshole. See, this is why I just move on, and I, I'm just leaving a burning trail of bridges behind. But me. again, you know, I I had a feeling the back in my gut. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be friends. You said it correctly. It was a high a high it is. You know, I needed it in my life. You need yeah, it. and we, and again, we're friends again. So what does it matter? You know. Yeah. Yeah. So you're saying I can put more gay porn on your computer and swastika? You're never there. touching my computer okay. again. I thought that's how. And you friends. didn't hack me. You 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 came over with Brad and then you you sat in my chair and you put a bunch of gay gay videos on my. I remember every. I, Dude, I, Ross. What? I am not against homosexual. I was just trying to help you come out. I'm not gay, but I do like gay people. By the way, though, you know I have to say that gay people are one of the nicest people. Honestly, I think they're the best dressing yeah. people. I they, love them. You know, even though they they always look so you know clean and you know. Nice look. Yeah, because they take care. They care yeah. themselves. They love exactly. each other. And well, you know, I, what what was Kathleen? Kathleen, Kath, Kath, you know you. Kathy, uh, friends, uh, best friend, that Johnny kid. Yeah, he, he made gay people look bad. He, he was he such was, a bitch. He was a cocksucker. Who's yeah. a cocksucker? Yes, that's what. He, yeah, yeah. No, he was a fucking piece of shit. You know who we're talking about? You might I've met him. What you, what's your opinion on him? Mm. No, he he was super. He he. Would tell me he's like I don't give a shit I fucking hate like black people and shit like that. He said that to you. Yeah, yeah. He'd, yeah. he'd say shit like and 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 I mean I don't know what to say to that. I mean like I and it, I don't know he like him and you know it was just that whole weird thing. I went out with this chick who she had like what I don't they, they call it, we call it a fag hag. You know everybody had a fag hag, and that's that's just what you call it. And and they were. It was just so fucking weird to go out with this person because they, she, I mean, how would you guys react? Here's this guy who was straight up until high school, went to the prom with a with a chick, Uh-oh. and then suddenly they're best friends and he's no longer straight and he's like telling her how to dress like she's naked. But And I'm just like, you know, I never met a gay person until that point. So I was just like, here's this guy that's, well, the other thing too was she was on his puppet strings, like- you think he was faking it? Oh, this no, he wasn't. No, no, he wasn't faking it. It was because just like, you know, yo, do, was, yo, is this is this guy good for you? Is this does he? What what do you think is his best feature? You know, I guarantee he, he'd probably be like, yeah, can you get some dick pics for me? Or we're not friends. You know, like he he was he was like that. I guarantee you, he had like a fucking crush on me or something. Because I because after I broke up with her, we became best friends, and then you were friends with Johnny for a little bit. Yeah, how he, was that after made, you guys made, broke he up? He, after me and Johnny broke up? No, I mean Kathleen. No, uh, how was it? I don't know. It was kind of weird. I mean, thing was, both of them, I feel like both of those people, and I'm not talking about any other people who are, any other girls who are friends with homosexual people. And, you, and they, can I, they, they, like, loved to do whatever the hell was popular. And tre- they, were, they were in high school at fucking 25 years old. That's what it was. And it was like, oh, this thing is the new cool thing. We're gonna compete, who can, you know, and have have a more, uh, whatever love and passion for whatever subject it is, whatever band it is, whatever uh, store, you know, clothing brand. And they just sort of like, they, they, there's a lot of toxicity there, you know. Yeah. And what? then and then I think when I became friends with them, it was sort of like, yo, you don't want to be friends with me. You you. you it, it was weird because it's like you're gonna fucking you know, go out this person without my approval, and it was just drama shit. So so I'm going to be f- best friends with him now to get, fucking spite you. And then I stopped being friends with him, so then I I, uh, I went out with her again. <laughs> but you, you know what the awesome, a couple of you, I don't want to say this out loud, um, that it was awesome when you said that when Kathleen, you know, started trying to get back to get, get over you, and she said, 
Phil, I don't know about you. I just can't get enough of you. And you, t- you touch. You have your touch. Your dick. What? <laughs> you why, said it to and me. And why are you? Why are you whispering this? <laughs> like she's not going to see this show. Okay. Oh, you said to me. I oh. think you should scream it at this point. Okay. When I we, remember, you took me to a cigar shop and we started talking again. Yeah, one of the first things I, I I we start talking about. You gotta pull about, the mic closer. Talking about caffeine. Because we're screaming this now. Caffeine. Yeah. I don't know what what was the years. Okay. We seen. Yeah. And you and you remember you, this you, is the Dino Bosco version of me. This isn't me. Just no. This is you talking, Phil. And you, I remember you said. Yeah, but this isn't me now. I'm not. Oh, this is like me back in the you and back in the day. Yeah, That's yeah. You. You, you 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 after it was like a couple of years after you broke with with Kathleen. Yeah, and you, she you hanged out with her. Yeah, and and you got she you took you 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 said you took she said to you I don't know about you Phil, I can't get enough of you 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 know you talked this in the way you said it, and and then you took her hand and took it on your dick. No, I asked her if she wants to play a thumb war, but my penis was the thumb instead. <laughs> That's really the you story. Do remember what I, I'm talking about? Yeah, no, yeah. that really is the story. Yeah. And, um, yeah, she kind of went for it for the first five rounds. And then, like, why is this thumb growing? You know. That, is she really that stupid? Um, yeah. I, I, okay, once again, I don't think all women are stupid. But she was, there's a lot of women who are much more intelligent, much more wise than me. But she was a dumb broad. You know what yeah. the only thing I liked about her? And I, I say this again. Yeah. Her ass was <laughs> epic. Well, outside yeah, that, I, I never understood what you saw in her. What I saw in her, well, it was another yeah. thing that I I, I I had to get two fists in those blue lips. Too. You know what? Another thing I I found was hilarious. I'm sorry. Can you? It's okay. It can, sure. Yeah. Say it, too. This, well, this is all straight okay, up. Okay, you you said you were doing doggy to her, dog yeah. style, and you 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 saw some toilet paper in her ass. Yeah. Well, yeah. she had such a huge ass that, that she you didn't. Po- she forgot what was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She didn't wipe her ass the right way, so she pretty much like rolled joints with those buttocks. Yeah. Exactly. And I'm not kidding, man. Like, I mean, what would you do, John? What would you? What would you do, Bill? Start taking well, baths. Well, actually, she probably rolled a joint better than I did. <laughs> right. With, that, with her ass. With her ass. Yeah. So. I don't know, but yeah, I don't. I'm not. I'm not trying to talk shit. This is just a true story. Well, it's funny. It's funny as shit. What do you think, John? I mean, fuck. I I got a hairy ass, so I get toilet paper stuck in it all the time. But I wash it out before sex. Yeah. That you gotta be. You gotta have some class. You know. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't know. Maybe Johnny told her to do that. Johnny <laughs> can suck a big dick. Whoa. Well, he's gonna take that as a compliment now. What do you think? Was was he a pitcher or a catcher? Uh, I don't know, man. I think you should ask him. And you should be like, so anyways, are you a dominatrix and wear leather? Oh. But no cutting. This is good. I'm enjoying this. This is getting better right now. I, I see that tablecloth rising. I, I don't have... Mr. Vasco down there is not that big. <gasps> He's not... Th- no. Are you willing to show it for us? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. I didn't look at Johnny's like, where, where, where is this show going, man? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. We, things got to. We need a break. Or right. something. Yeah, we, <laughs> no, I think that that was a nice little. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was, was good. That was good. That. Um. Well, anyways, back to why we stopped hanging out was having to do with your. Sorry, we got to get back to Ross's you know, I, genitals. I wanted, you know, it's not about Ross. This is what I didn't want. You it know? is about Ross because you're a guest and we love you. Um. Anyway, let me say what, what what you told me. You didn't tell me it was because of the swastika and the gay porn on your computer. It wasn't it was, gay porn. It was, it was definitely the swastika. You, you told uh, well. You, you see, and you changed it again. No, you told me it was because uh, you you were embarrassed to tell me that you had ball cancer, and I said, "Dude, that's messed up." We just saw Tom Green, and dude, I didn't I didn't get diagnosed with with with, with test cancer until twenty sixteen. No, you told me that, like, because I asked you, I'm like, you know, if you don't can you mind. Do a, can you say a question, not ball cancer, this be respectful, say t- testicle cancer, please? Testicle cancer please. is the respectful way? Yes, please. It means a lot. Okay. Yeah. You told me about your testicle cancer mm-hmm. that I, I asked, you know, not to be disrespectful because I never, because 
uh, I, I never knew anybody with that, and I, I'm just curious, how big did your testicle I'm get? Gonna sh- I'm, I'm gonna sh- are you cool with how, how I can show you t- it? No, you to- you're going to show it right yeah. now? Are you cool with yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. I thought you were going to pull it out. No, I, I don't have it anymore. Oh, never mind, dude. I, th- I, I can show it. It was, it was as big as a baseball. Yeah, it's what you told me. That it was like, and, and and I said, dude, not to be a fucking asshole again, but didn't you think that that was kind of crazy to have like a baseball sized ball? And you told me no because of that ACDC song, Big Balls. <laughs> that's, that's what you told it's me. It's always, a, it's always. A... And then and and then and then when I and then when you and then you're like, oh, I don't know, I got big balls. You, you know, I got big balls, guy. And then I'm like, well, wouldn't you think that like your dick is. They're pretty fucking small compared to those big balls. Then my dick is not. My dick is about eight inches. I, I couldn't contip. You just said you, it's ro, little Roscoe isn't that big. Okay, what what do you consider a little little dick? All right, um, a Under little dick. Have you seen Have you seen the the movie Doors? The movie Doors. Yeah, that with Val Uh, a long time ago. Okay. Does he have a little dick? Well, he, um, if he asked the um. Jim Lewis got um, arrested in Miami yeah. for disposal. Yeah. But he then he, he whipped up his finger. So this his finger was it was his pointer finger. It was like this. Yeah. So my is like two, like this. My dick. Thank you for letting me know. I'm not ashamed. No, I mean, well, what does that have to do with Jim Morrison? Well, I'm making a point. It's like he was he, Jim Lewis was being a drunk asshole. Okay. And he was like, whip, well, don't. what do you think is a little dick then? Like a like a like that, but Brad's finger. <laughs> I'm so- but we're gonna all get a fucking point in hell with this episode. Answer the, the question. This Ross. is brought to you by little dicks and stubs. You know. <laughs> he doesn't even know who this guy is, and we'll fucking. I've heard enough. <laughs> so so you heard enough. Now say. What do you think about little dicks, John? What's a little dick? I, no comment, man. What? You gotta tell. You gotta tell us, Nook. No, nothing. No. All right. What? What about you, Bill? What's a little? I say under five. Under five. These guys are bustle. I, I, I Erect s- or just sagging? Erect. Yeah, I. I had. I probably agree. Like that's. General rule of thumb. Plus, I fall above average if we use that as the metric. So that's, you know. I think I'd be average then. Oh, yeah. But, you know, like, oh, yeah, under five, small. Me? What? What's two Pretty hand- large, re- what's relatively. Two, what's two hands when you have to jack up with two hands? That's me. You got to jack up with two hands? Yes. Okay. Um, how, how about, I don't know. Any? I'm open. You guys are like. I'm no, I'm open too. What you want it? You want it? Oh I'm, fuck! I just went deaf in this ear. <laughs> this dick shit is getting me too excited. No, <laughs> I'm serious. No, I just heard like ringing right here. Anyways, no, um, I I don't know. I what you want to know? How I jack off. No, I was. I'm be honest. I jack. My, guess I what? I have to use them hands. Guess how many? I bet none of you can guess. Guess how many hands I use? Five. Four. I I, I still think you use one. None. Because you got a girlfriend. No, no, I'm not. No, I'm not trying to be a cocky asshole. No, I use none. I swear to God. I fucking okay. I learned how to jizz or or jag off when I was like I don't know five or six, and it was from watching. I re- remember to this day a Cindy Crawford exercise video, and I'd watch it all the time. Uh, and my mind yes. didn't know. And my mind didn't know why. And you know how I got it? I got it from doing pretty much picture doing jumping jacks on your stomach against the carpet. Mm-hmm. That's that's how. So so the best way I can describe it, I'm not even kidding, and I'm not like like that's just a straight up way. You know how? Uh, what's his name? The killer in Silence of the Lambs, Buffalo Bill. You know how Buffalo Bill tucks it in. Mm-hmm. I just got to keep tucking it in randomly. Hmm. That that's how I jack off. Just doing jumping jacks on like the bed now? No, well, no, not no, no, no. I just gotta, I just lay down and I keep tucking it in. It's weird. I can't jag off with my hands. Weird. It's the weirdest fucking thing. Yeah. 
I use one hand. Which is, at, by the way, fucking, that's what grammar school and high school, well, high school was all boys school, but grammar school was fucking great because those desks were pretty fucking tight. <laughs> so. Huh? Let me ask you something, uh, Phil. And, and you know you know Phil from middle school? Um, Was he a... Did you, did you was Phil in high school and and Phil in middle school was kind of the same guy? Yeah, he was the same guy. Um, see, in middle school, I was picked on a lot, and and I and I had a lot of problems in middle school because that's when my uh, mental illness was kind of kicking in, and I, I was being kind of aggressive. Yeah. So I got picked on so much. And, and I remember this this uh, teacher named Mrs. Kobogo. Fuck you, bitch. Mm. To this day, I can say this. She sounds cute. And I threw a death side hoe, actually, because she pissed me off so much. Oh, but was she cute? She was actually 28 back then, back in 2000. So she's in her 40s now. So back then, no. As I remember, she was ugly. Now, I think she's probably got a, got off ugly. The size of the point is, I got picked on so much that... The time by my freshman year, I was working out obsessively about five days a week, and I got so ripped that you know when people saw me down there, no using two hands. I'm not talking about any people talking sexual. Oh, know, the other working out, working out actually. Yeah, it's like I got messed up so much that people you know saw me in high school. I worked out so much they didn't want to fuck with me. So well, did you did you did you get into any fights in high school? No, because I was I was that big. I was I was, I was pretty big, man. I was not even kidding. And you know the, the more this story is, you know, when I see a lot of people my age, you know how they look nowadays. Yeah, they look like fucking thought out assholes who who look ugly. Wow, thanks, Ross. I'm not talking about you. All right. I'm talking to people of my age who are like, you know, the perhaps the <clears throat> jocks. They all look hideous and on like, you know, they pass the peak. Yeah. And and I, and I get all the attention now. Like they used to look like a Abercrombie and Fitch commercial, and now they look like the diabetes commercial. Right? Yeah, they look horrible. <laughs> I don't. And this, you know, life happens for a reason. You know, I got picked on. I I I didn't look very good in high school. Yeah. And now you. You look good. Bill looks good. <laughs> Thank you. you. Know, Thank we all you. look good. You know, I'm assuming, you know, we all probably did, didn't, I don't know. Did, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. We, we didn't hit our prime when we were young. I'm still waiting to hit mine. You look, you look, you <laughs> it's look coming. Good. Uh, Thank you, Ross, yeah. but, you know, like life's prime. Yeah. So, John, two hands, no hands? Uh, I'll pull you the fifth. Uh, no. You already said two. Or oh, do you, talking for are you use like a, a door? A, a door? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, like you just keep sh- slamming just it shut. It. Um, no, I don't use a door. No, no. I don't think he's gonna answer. No comment. No comment. All right, that's all good. Uh, random question. Yeah. Are those little something somethings down here? Do you guys remember? Um, have you ever heard of Streetwise? No. Yeah. yeah nope. you, is that uh, where you got the sticker from? Yeah. They used to um Streetwise was like a I think when internet was just getting popular, they had a website where like when new new everything, <laughs> new bands, new comedians, new shows were coming out with shit, they just send you a whole shit load of free crap. T shirts, stickers, it was just for you to fucking sticker up the town, you know. Sure. Street team. Yeah. And the one I regret the most is because I covered my whole desk because I didn't really know who he was. I just wasted a shitload of Easy E stickers. Uh, yeah. I don't know. So we were talking about Little Dicks? Yeah. <sighs> no. We, we talk about Little Dicks too much, I feel like. See, I disagree. I don't think... I don't think we ever got a solid answer out of Ross. What? About what? Little dicks. I don't have a little dick. No, but what is your, like, what makes a dick little? Uh, when you don't get an ejaculation. <laughs> you got to pull the mic towards you. When you don't have, like, a, a, a ejaculation. So, well, what if I had ejaculation, but I had, like, a, 
I bet I bet election. Oh, okay. Election boiler. Yeah, like what if I had a belly, but, uh, belly button, but I was ejaculating? It's like a nub. If it doesn't stick up at all, that's not. So your definition of a little dick is like ten centimeters. Is that? Yeah. Or like an inch. Like half an inch. Yeah, exactly. What if What if I'm like two years old? Why are we talking about that? It's like. Well, I think he brings up an excellent point. And somebody used to call me having a baby dick. Hmm. Okay. A baby dick is under an inch. Okay. Okay. So, so it goes baby and then little? Yeah. Little, then, then baby dick. Well, if you're going from smallest to largest, it would go baby and then little. Again, it goes little, then baby dick. So a baby dick is larger than a little dick. You're twisting my words. I said a baby dick is smaller than a lo- than a little. Right. Okay. Yeah. So I think we're arguing about something we agree oh, on. Oh, put that bag on the ground just so we can see. I want to see your blue lips when you talk about little dicks. Okay. So we got it right. The baby dick is first, then little dick. Yes. Right. Um. I th- speaking a, a little dick just to um cuz uh, you know it said would you like to say one of the questions was what would you like to see about yourself well i can tell you i learned something a little bit about myself cuz people ask me you know i don't like it when people tell me that i haven't changed cuz i feel like i've i i i think i've grown in wisdom and spirituality i've i i've i've gotten to know who i am a little bit better i'm a lot less angry a lot happier but Actually, I took a... You know what's the weirdest fucking thing? I was shocked, and I laughed. I took a personality, like a WebMD personality test. Mm-hmm. And you know what I got? I thought I was going to get high anxiety. My anxiety was 60%, 100% intellect, hmm. which I couldn't... I mean, I could, I, I, I could understand, because I, I, ne- I didn't really think... like Intellect is more like what I was talking about, Jer- uh, Jordan Peterson, the doctor, where mm-hmm. it's like, you know, well, this happens because of this. It's sort of like a more intuitive uh, understanding of how things work through energy and through emotions, you know, like at the same time. So I guess I, I, I would agree if it's, it has to do with that, but... Wait, what were the other ones, though? Like you got 60% there was, that, 100% that, what were, what were all the categories? Um, there was, I think there was like a submissive, which I'll be honest, I don't even remember what that means. And Ross would get a zero. Wait, no, 100 yeah, because you want the dominatrix. Mm-hmm. You'd probably get a lot of points in submissive. Yeah, and I, I, I don't, I don't remember that there was literally it was a, like a spider web of like twenty, but those were the highest ones. I well, those were the ones that I focused on because I think um, uh, there was like a, um, something with memory maybe, which I would probably get zero. I don't know, but no, there, there's a lot of them, and um, yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember what I got for memory. Fair you enough. Know. No, but, uh, yeah, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about or what we were talking No, I was just curious about you were on WebMD. Yeah. We were talking about little dicks. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Talking about how uh, to know a little bit about me. Uh, yesterday, Thanksgiving family, we were watching Family Memories. Oh, and I was talking about how I don't like how when people say like, "Oh, you haven't changed. You're the you're the same guy." Well, I I'm always gonna bust ball. That's just I like to have fun. That's you know what I don't give a fuck. Like if you're having laughter is what cures everything. You could be the you know richest fucking corrupt political fuck in the top of the you know pyramid, or you could be a sl- slave in plantation times. You could be down in your dump. Laughter cures everything, and that's why I just love, you know, I, 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 I don't think there's anything, any jokes that you can't say, but, um, so one thing that, uh, that I found funny, I guess, I had a video of me and my brother, I think he was like, this will tell you a lot about me from birth, that, you know what, I, busting balls is like, I can't change it, man, it's in my blood, because. What did you do to your brother? It's just a video of my mom taping him because I'm always like running in front of the camera and shit and trying to be, you know, center of attention when I was a kid. Just, just not even center of attention, just like causing trouble. And uh, so we're running around the house naked 
because it was like right before bath time. I think he was like three and I was like six and we were starting a mafia. No. Uh, and then, so, so Forget I, about it. so I, I, no, no, it's just him just trying to dance to like y- Yanni music. Cause my mom was a huge fucking Yanni fan. And, and then I just like in the middle of the whole thing, he's about to do like a ballerina spin and I just fucking yanked his little baby dick full, full. And then like the camera turns off. I'm like, yep. That summarizes who I <laughs> Some things never change. So I got the most experience in baby dick. That's what I'm telling you, Ross. Yeah, you're the authority. Hmm. Got a comment on that, John? <laughs> no comment. So do you have any brothers or sisters? Yeah, I got, I got a sister. I got four sisters. It's not a competition, Ross. I never said it was. Well, no need to sound so prideful. When you announce you have more sisters than John. That's just, that's just Vasco. Fair enough. Yep. The, the sister competition? Right. Well, I'll be honest with you, having so many sisters, I never, ever, really, ever get shy by girls. It's always that one one girl that does it to me. But majority of girls... It, it I, does it? What? Well, it? Like the, like the clown? No, it does what as in it? Like one one percent go, a, a, a female will like make me a little like nervous. Yes. What kind of girl is that? The dominatrix. I I would like to think so. I wouldn't know. No, yet. no. What what kind of girl? Describe it. A girl that I'm actually attracted to. What's that's who? What I'm still trying to find. If you're out there and you like that like that girl at the Halloween party. That yep. that you told her. I think you got a great personality, and then scooted next to her. Yours? Not my girlfriend. No, no, what what are you talking about? I don't even know this. There was a a girl, my, my girlfriend's friend at the Halloween party, who you said looks exactly like Sam. What? Uh, whatever. Okay. Doesn't matter. But she was of that 1%. Yeah. And oh. That's, that's what they're called, right? One percent? No, I, 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 I wasn't. No, I was just trying to be fun, friendly with her. Trying to be friendly by <laughs> scooting next to her. Telling I never did person. that. If I did, if I did that, I'm sorry. That it's like that's. It's, I never did that. She was pretty offended. She was a lesbian. Well, but she had a great personality. Yeah, I never scooted next to her. She said that to you. No, I I watched it while jagging off in the corner. Now I know you're bullshitting. No, no, I I just I I thought it all right. Yeah. So, what is the little dick? I think we need to call it because this is going nowhere. All right. No, no, I'm I'm kidding. So yeah. here we go. I've got a question. Yeah, we we. Uh, no, no, I was gonna say we gotta we gotta talk about something else. Yeah. We're editing this whole lesbian little dick thing. Yeah, please. No, I <laughs> thought that, that was some pretty groundbreaking stuff. It was some groundbreaking. All okay. Right. And anyway, my question is this, Ross? You mentioned you had four <laughs> sisters. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Now, can you rank them from most loved to most unloved? Like, uh, can you like? Do you have a favorite sister or second favorite sister? I actually do. She's taking me to see Hapley and, and, and Diabetes right. a week from Sunday. Her name was Lynn. So that's your favorite sister. The one I'm closest with. I don't favor. You don't favor. I I, I don't have a favorite sister. Was I I'm, I'm closest with? Oh, but that's what I asked. Yes. Yeah. I'm closer with Lynn. Okay. And then it goes Mary. The Natalie, the Lord. Oh, don't much care for Lauren. Lauren's the youngest. She's twenty-one. I have no idea how to talk to her she, at all. It's like so. She one of those women you get nervous around? Absolutely not. It's just shut the fuck. <laughs> shit. No, it's just like she's very intelligent. She wants to take over my dad's business, who's the dentist. It's like I have no idea what to talk. How, what, yeah, she's like she's one of the few. You know, all my sisters are gonna actually outsmart me. She does it all the time. She outsmarts you. Yes. The, the youngest one. Yes. Yeah, no, I, I think I can relate because um, I got a cousin who I wouldn't be surprised if she was in like a girls gone wild video. She's kind of like a hoe that goes tanning and goes to all the Lollapalooza ecstasy fests, and um, she used to. We used to be really close, and then. Um, her mom's kind of like Courtney Love, except she d- doesn't get any dick, n- not even little dick. 
But Wait, not even baby dick? Not even baby dick. I mean, maybe she grabbed one of our dicks when we were little, knowing her, but That's no. maybe dick. Yeah, that's maybe baby, right? Something like that, yeah. All right. Well, yeah, well, we used to be real close, and I don't know what to talk. I wouldn't even know what to talk about with a girl's gone wild fucking love lose what, a hoe. What like, should we like go gone wild? Maybe I, I saw her on it. Well, I don't, honestly, I don't think she'd make the audition. She's kind of got a huge schnoz. <laughs> so, yeah, I that, that would be the wildest part is that fucking camel nose, but... She, uh, no, uh, no, I mean, but it was, I, I could see where you're coming from because my brother, he's a huge gamer nerd. He's obsessed with Pokemon cards at 26 and, uh, that's all he bought for Black Friday, $300 worth of. You know what I bought I, for Black Friday? I tweeted myself. This, uh, awesome bill. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so I saved some for you, uh, Mr. Bill. What? Yeah, go ahead. What? What? Try it. This? Yeah, try it. Ross. Yeah, go ahead. You forgot to scoot and tell him he's got a nice personality. The, yeah, right. Uh, that's I know how you operate, Mr. Rubino. Well, and and so anyways, so we haven't seen her in like 10 years, and we don't know what to talk to her about. So, so my brother still asks her if he... Uh, well, what do you think? Pretty good. What's this good. whispering, man? Huh. No. Saw you on your train. We're telling secrets. No, it, you know, this is like... A, We're telling secrets, Do you know Ross. the story about the Bourbon County Bill? I forget, Ross. Well, this comes out every year. You know, I'm a big bill guy. Um, it's like Santa Claus. And it, it's... Um, we pull the mic towards you. Well, um, what makes this bill a little different, which a lot of people don't realize, a lot of people say, oh, I don't, I, I just drink milk. I, I, I drink, you know, cheap-ass beer. This is mixed with, you know, bourbon that is aged for like 11 years. And, you know, it's a very special beer. You know, everybody, oh, Black Friday, I get the best, you know, sales, the best this. You know what? I spent $30 on three beers. This is my treat. So, you know, anybody who goes out to Best Buy, Target, getting all those best, you know, those deals. Yeah, all you fuckers out there buying TVs, buying shit, you're not buying Bourbon County. What the you're, fuck are you doing? With you're your yeah. wasting your money. Was, was that a Black Friday deal? No. <laughs> like I said, I spent thirty dollars on three beers. But to me, it's like it. it, it it's so. T- what do you think about it, Bill? Well, it's good, but the thing is, they don't release it until Black Friday. Exactly because they're trying to get money off you. The, the, I, so you never even know if it's a Black well, Friday there's deal. This customer today bought bought about five cases of of this beer. Was it that, you? No, it wasn't me. I, and spent five hundred sixty dollars on this one bill. I spent thirty. It's like people out there spend all that money. It's good, but it's not that good. This person spent five hundred sixty dollars on this bill. Yeah. And it's like, props to you, you can afford it, but you know. All right. Well, they know they're gonna drink it eventually. Yeah, exactly. But you know, I said, is it that good? They can't answer it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're asking them. As they're leaving the store with like hundreds of beer or like hundreds of dollars of beer, like is it worth it? Is it that good? Oh, any good bill, you know, fiasco will answer that, and then I say yes, it is. Do you well, do you ask the same question to people to like a homeless man who buys the shittiest beer, if it's worth it? No. Then you don't care about everybody, because how do you know he's using his like, you know, cup change for the best beer? He could be buying Bourbon County on Black Friday. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Anyway, Goose Anyhow, Island is great. You're making me look like an asshole again. I'm? Um, making it... So, Phil. Yeah. What, what are you going to get? Um, What's your shopping list for, um, for Gavin and Kelly this year? Anything special they ask for? Anything special? No. I don't know. Uh, can I ask you a little advice, which, uh, you know, I, I really help with? My weakness, I don't know how to shop. I have four sisters. I have no idea how to shop for them. How do you shop for for women? I'd because go to I really want to give my gifts this year. I usually ask my uh, my mom or my stepmom to help me. This yeah, year, I'm pull thinking, that mic, dude. I'm thinking about this Just year. Just pull it towards you. This year? Here, yeah, pull it towards like that. Yeah. I'm thinking about this year. I, I want to do my own shopping. Yeah. I, I have no idea how to shop for them. What? Lover's Lane? 
Oh, come on. I'm being serious. How, what's what's I get? You know, everybody wants gift cards. I don't think I want to do that. I want to, you know, three of my sisters, nothing. Uh, right. Kids Bop, four? Mm-hmm. Brooms. Get each of them a broom. I would say gift cards because that's what I always get. You, you always give your gift card to your sister? Yes. Anything um, suspe- um, anything special? Outback Steakhouse. Express or something like that, hmm. I think. Gift goes never goes long, but I like I want to spoil them. I was so I was gonna, a really uh, big gift card. Yeah, I was looking for gift cards for tattoo because because I don't. How do you give a tattoo for? Well, yeah, I was saying I might get something. I don't know, man. I'm like fuck. I never got a tattoo. May as well know what it feels like. I'm starting it's to. Fun. Yeah. Hmm? Talking to myself. I was thinking getting uh, cause cause I cause I got anxiety and I always forget shit. So I was gonna put like every new day in Polish right here, How or każdy nowy dzień, right? Yeah. And then I was gonna put right here caffeine free, so I stay away from coffee because that shit just, I just get I just, I just turn into, I really want to like kill everybody when I when I have caffeine. Like so what about yesterday? This yeah. At, at my dad's house. Yeah. My my stop. I said mm-hmm. we buy thirty one dollar coffee. What kind of coffee you think they'll buy? buy they'll buy it. Thirty one dollar coffee. Yeah, great. Sanka. I didn't ask, but they said you better finish it because this this costs thirty one dollars a, a bag. Thirty. I don't know. Uh, Folgers. So. Starbucks. Uh, yeah, it's better than Starbucks. I could tell you that. Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> like Keurig or whatever. I I, I don't know that many coffee. Yeah, forget about it. No, were we getting close? I don't know. I did. I didn't oh. ask. I was so there's like, no answer to your question. I, I would say Can you. Can we you, call them? They're probably not going to answer me. Oh. Now we'll never know. No, you yeah. just got to be like, Mom, I'm on hear nothing, say nothing live. What kind of fucking fifty dollar coffee do you want? <laughs> Who do you think her favorite member of the team is? Favorite member of the team? Yeah, I figure Rubino's mom probably. Like well, John the most. Never call my mom Rubino because you'll beat your ass. I was Be- referring because, to because you as the, Rubino, and it's yeah. your mom. Was it because of the Urban Dictionary? Definition? No, my, my mom's last name was Hayward That's my mom. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So what? What so, can I call her, sweetie? I don't know. <laughs> Just you'll probably look at you funny. Like the good look? He's like, like oh, oh, how you doing? <laughs> yeah. The good funny look? Well, anyhow. Uh, we we got to keep this going here. Yeah. It's up to John. God, why? Don't put John on the spot like no, that. It's like I'm enjoying myself. It's like, God, who has to work tomorrow? I do. What, what do you guys got to do tomorrow? I have to go to a concert at the Vic. How what about, are you going to uh, see? Squeeze. Squeeze? Yeah, dude. Sing it. The- Tempted by the fruit of another, tempted but the truth is discovered. That's a dose song. No, it's, it's not, not a dose song. Why well, you sing it like like <coughs> like Jim J- 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 Boas? Well, I'm tone deaf, so with his baby <laughs> dick finger. I'm no. sorry, that was a dick move. No, it's fine. That was a baby dick move. Yeah. Yeah. Well, a little dick. A little dick. Yeah. It was yeah, it was a little dick. Uh, what are you doing, John? Um, tomorrow, not, no plans really tomorrow. I don't know. So you so must have hoi No work it. though, so that's good. What yeah, about nice. Sunday? Sunday I'm going to the city to hang out with Aniket. The city of Chicago? Yes. And Aniket is the one I met outside of my comedy show who is cousins with someone from Lucky Boy's Confusion? Correct. Okay. Cool. I am... Um, I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. I, I don't think I have plans for tomorrow. I got to, uh, let's see here. Sunday, I think I might have told Bill and John. Ross, have you seen Casino? Yes. Yeah. Do you remember how Joe Pesci and his brother get like beat, the, beat to shit in a cornfield at the end? I, I actually never seen that stuff the fittest. You've never seen what? i never seen Casino stuff in the fittest. Beat. Start to finish. Oh. Okay, because, uh, yeah, well, anyways, long story short, the guy who planned that hit, the leader of the whole Chicago mob, uh, 
I'm gonna try and keep it short. But his Good yeah, boy. his son. He was like uh, he kind of brought the whole mob down in 2007 of Chicago. Every everybody in casino, that whole damn story. Every single motherfucker, he brought it all down because um, I mean, from what I'm reading, I'm still reading the book, but it's basically there's like a. There, there. It's fucking great for anybody from Chicago because you just learn about every single neighborhood, who ran what, where the biggest stuff. Like, you know, uh, I, th- I think it was like there's uh, cas- casinos and card games in Chinatown. Then there's like the Grand Avenue crew. Then there's the Elmwood Park. Then there's Melrose Park, and which which is crazy knowing the whole shit I said about you know the whole Carlos story. But yeah. point is that he there's this guy. Can I stop you there? What? The, the whole uh, Genway, I believe what you say, but that that pawn shop, um, yeah, that that sounds kind of. Uh, I don't have a hard time believing it. That was a hundred percent real. That is. The, there's a, there's a video. There's a news video on YouTube. It's uh, not you. It's like more like Carlos kind of thing that knowing him, he, he was kind of like, I don't know how to. He, he I don't know. It's it, just. It was what. I think he that's he's stupid enough to get into it. Actually, I actually do believe it. What do stupid you enough? I was filling out applications. Uh, not you, uh, Carlos. To get into what? Get into the cult, get into the mafia business. I think I think his family was in it. His mom was hot, by the way. Well, I'm, yeah. I hope he sees this. <laughs> no, because I think his dad might have gotten assassinated. I, I've never met his dad. I know. I I honestly I don't know what happened to his dad. And I think that's why I'm not. But joking. I do remember go, having a good, a lot of good times. Go to his, uh, his, his apartment though. Yeah, yeah. No, but no. It was, so, well, what, I, I hate to stop you there. I remember, for the second time, you pizza holding son of a bitch. Wow, it was a uh, going to a party with one of his buddies. Yeah, it, it was when the Vasco moment when I, I took a lighter. It was one of those. Uh, um, uh, it was a uh, the Polish, uh, hot liquor that was hundred proof. Yeah, Stolichnaya. Yeah, that you Polish? remember that party? You took so. me to a, you took me to a party, that it was Dave. I think it was Dave. Yeah, yeah, white boy. Yeah, white boy. Yeah, he, him and his his girlfriend, and another girl. I had to pay three dollars to see her and another person, another girl go, his girlfriend go down on the girl. What? What? Yeah, you had to pay. Yeah. Three when did dollars. that happen? How come I wasn't included? You were there. They made you pay. Yeah, and it was all. I don't even think they did it. It was like it was. It, I, I at the time I thought it was awesome, but it was, it was her and it was another girl. It, it was all in black, and I was like, when I come to think about it, it's like, why did I pay three bucks when it was in the in the in, in pitch black? It was like three other people there in black. Well, you had to pay. Yeah, I paid three bucks. It was a. Pit- there was in a strip club or just had white boy's house. It was at. Um, I think it was a white boy's house. I don't know, man. I, that's weird. I don't remember. I remember a lot more than you do. I think. <sighs> I mean, I I don't remember seeing that at all. I don't honestly. You were not there. It was bad. Well, it, that's why I don't remember. Yeah. You were, Fuck. You, you were at the party, was, but you were not there. And, was, and if you were in Dino Bosco mode, and all you remember is pitch black, well, you know, I paid three bucks to see. You probably did see some nice blue lips in the darkness, you know? Yummy. Yeah. It was like, this is what I have to say. We had a lot of good moments, you know? Yeah. And sometimes I think... You, Wait, I would, you and the girls? That would have been epic. I think you should show up at their door right now in I the pitch no, black and say we had a lot of good moments. Yeah. I actually added her to Facebook and she was like... like uh, was that Tina or something? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, she was a lot of drama. I know. I know her. I think they were. Uh, they had something connected, or uh, yeah. You know, if you if you if you didn't if you didn't please that girl the right way, they'd probably fucking kill you. Are you or surprised something. I said that that she was going down on the go that at that party? No, no, she was always a whore. Yeah, that's. I think that's why things didn't work out with them. But um, I don't know. Oh, and I think. Oh, you know what? I think the girl that she went down on. It's because like she, yeah, she was a lesbian. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think that they were trying to get me to go out with that girl, and then they're like, "Oh no, she actually just came out of the closet." I'm like, "Really? After seeing me, huh?" You know, no, but I mean, no. And then they uh, they had me go out with this girl, uh, Elise, dude. This girl, Elise, I I can't even explain it. She she looked like Paris Hilton 
mixed with like I, I don't even know maybe and and I don't even really like Paris Hilton kind of looks like if Marilyn Manson didn't get fat so you know Mayo Bassett broke his legs on a on a set right yeah you think he was faking it no yeah no no he's I don't I don't think he's he's a pretty frail motherfucker but no any no anyways this like this was a good looking cute blonde girl and dude she was fucking loaded this is some funny shit and this is Elise you're talking about yeah yeah okay she she's like loaded as shit they, they they lived in a mansion out in like Naperville or something or Bensonville dude they had like a whole the ba- half the basement was like a cardinal fitness area just fitness mach- machines and crap and then uh i think like she had she had a swimming pool in the background a jacuzzi like huge fucking mansion i it, like just really rich uh, off girl and like she just did not want to do shit with anybody in white boys crew which i don't blame her cuz those are some raggedy motherfuckers for sure well, so, let me ask you this so she so she just invites me over and she's like oh, oh i just want I'm just gonna touch myself while while you lift weights. I'm like, well, I'm not. I don't even. Li- I'm a s- little bitch. I don't even lift weights. So I try. That. She's like, all right, we're going to the jacuzzi. Do you bubble with so the Dave? I'm sorry. I didn't I'm fucking you. talking. You pizza holding son of a bitch. Sorry. No. So so so, so you so, go to the jacuzzi. Go to the jacuzzi. She's like, all right, I'll take my bra off, and I get about five minutes in. Her fucking dad screeches into the driveway. Oh no! <laughs> fucking, and I'm like, who the hell is that? I thought everyone's on vacation, and I, I, I guess she lied because she just wanted to have a kinky night. And I'm not kidding. I fucking ran to my car, drove to my house naked, and that was like so hard. Like I, I didn't, dude. I'm telling you, you were so hard. Yeah, it, that was hard while being hard, and it's really hard to like get a grip on the like driving it's really hard pedals. to get a grip. Yeah, yeah, it's hard. You bunch of jerks. No, <laughs> but it was it was. It's really it it is very difficult to drive and get a grip on your brake pedal and gas pedal when you got no shoes on and you're completely in jacuzzi and <laughs> whatever the hell jizz water in there, you know. So yeah. Well, I think we gotta say uh, good night for tonight. What do you? Oh, I say? thought you were gonna interrupt me again. Yeah, no. Uh, Wait, you had a lot to say. Yeah, you had us. another thing to say. Remember when what? I kind of forgot. Mm. All right. Well, before we disembark, Phil said he had a special project for us. I think it was. Uh, yeah, it was the Urban Dictionary. Oh, was it? Oh, yeah. Gotcha. And I no, I was just. Anyways, I was saying. That I'm going on a tour Sunday. That the guy who ran all of Chicago, including the, what what happened in Casino, his son was gonna. He was like, you know, he told his dad like, "Yo, I want out of this. I want out of this mafia shit. I'm not into this." And his dad was like, "All right, I'll help you out." And then he lied, so he wore a wire. And then this guy moved out. I mean, I'm I'm getting the story from what I read. He he moved out to Arizona, opened up like a you know working class. Started a working class life, starting fresh like in Goodfellas, and tried to own his own pizzeria. And then his dad died in 2012 because he's like, oh, I'm not going back by Chicago. That's like spitting their, in their face. So then he moved back here when he died, and now he gives tours on like, on where he, yeah, where they did gangland mob Gangland killings? Yeah. It's like, oh, over yonder is where we slit his neck, and then over here is where we tied hot wire to his testicles. Right. You know? And Ross, that's why. That that is why you don't want to give me a cigar because you smoke them a quarter of the way. I can't help it; it's a habit. It's a habit to to waste your money. Wow, well, there's a reason for this. What? what because I, you have no, a mental dominatrix no, that's dressed in leather. Is a reason. When I'm on break, I know it's a 15 minute break. Usually at Jewel. Yeah. I when I put a when I when I go back in, how much I smoke that? That's fifteen minutes usually. So I I put it out and, and I go back in to work. And you never finish it because I don't have enough time to finish it. So it's, it's but a, you have another break. 
No, I only, usually I only have one bike 15 minutes. Well, you get off of work. What if you're breathing really rapidly that day? Like if you had a coffee oh, or that, a panic That is actually the reason. That you're not the only person to say that. I have 15 minutes, so I know when to go back in when I'm at that point. So it's more a habit when I put it out. I don't even realize that I'm doing it. All right. What are you doing this weekend? Walking. Okay. Everybody's working for the weekend. Everybody's working. Yeah. So that's signing out. That's signing out? Yeah. All right. Ross is done. Thank you, everyone out there, for watching. Thank you, everyone. Yep. This has been... Hear nothing. See nothing. Ah, uh, 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 Ross. Ross, go. Yeah. Ross is here, too. You're fucked up, dude. You're fucked up, dude.